Hey YouTube, this is a Spinkter coming at you one again through FL Studio. Today I'm going to talk about shortcuts. I'm going to try to improve your musical efficiency using shortcut modifiers such as the control key, the shift key, and the alt key. Big stuff, huh? Alright, first let's talk about the channel menu. For those of you who make beats in the channel menu, you'll be happy to know there are a variety of shortcuts that will really help you out. Uh, the first and most important of which being the Alt key. Um, pretty much that's uh, the main one here. When I'm in a when I'm in channel mode, I can select my channel using the up and down arrows. If I hold Alt, I can move those channels up and down. And if I hold Alt, I can move. Let's see. I think I can move the individual notes. Uh, left and right. I'm sorry. If I hold shift, I can move the individual notes left and right and sort of pan them to exactly where I want them to be. That's pretty handy. If I hold control, the left and right arrows will in fact uh, rearrange or shift me throughout the patterns. From pattern one, up and down, lower with the left arrow right. It goes up throughout your different patterns. Simple. Okay, that's all for the channel menu. For the playlist, you get to use your mouse. Uh, there's some cool features here. Let's say I'm working with this pattern here, or I'm working with a variety of patterns here. Now, if I hold Shift to modify my function, the brush, instead of just being a drawing tool, becomes a copying tool. And every time I drag a piece away, it becomes a copy of its former self. See that? Very easy. So I can take any piece of note and I can make it a duplicate very easily. Now if I take the Alt key, I get to move these throughout space without any restrictions of quantization. So this gives me very precise control over where exactly I want this sample to lie, where this pattern should lie, without having to bother with actually snapping to a line. Neat! If I hold control, this allows me to select a region. Even though I have the paintbrush tool selected or the pencil tool selected, if I hold control, I can still copy, or I'm sorry, I can still select entire regions and manip manipulate them with one stroke of the mouse, pen, whatever. That's all for the playlist, actually. That's a pretty short one. Sorry to have to cut it so short, but I'm trying to fit a lot in. And I am primarily talking about the modifiers. I know there are some really good features here that you can use. And I'll try to cover some of the mixer ones as well. Now, for the piano roll, it's kind of cool because a lot of the features that you will find are exactly the same as uh, the playlist options. For example, if I hold control, I can select a whole region. All right. If I hold alt, I can move this throughout space without any restrictions on quantization. If I hold shift, I can copy the entire pattern that I have selected. Now here's something really cool. You can you can change the duration. Here we go. You can change the duration of this pattern of the individual notes by dragging from the end of the note. See how the arrow changes to this uh, left and right. So I can stretch these out to be very long notes. If I hold shift, I can do the same feature, but instead of stretching them out, it actually changes the timing. So now I have a very long stretched out pattern. Uh, this would be something like on the order of six times longer than the original pattern. I could shrink it down to be half as long or any variation thereof. It's very flexible. You can see that you get instant visual feedback which is fantastic. I didn't know about this until just very recently. Uh, next, if I select a whole pattern, I can use shift and the up and down arrows to actually move this throughout space, left, right, and up and down throughout the keypad. And if I hold control, I will instead move it up entire octaves and down entire octaves. Pretty handy. I can use the middle mouse button. I know you, you know you can scroll up and down th with the wheel, but if I hold the wheel down and press it like a button, I can scroll left and right through space very easy. It's Alright, now on to the mixer. And I'm, I'm covering a lot of ground here. I'm moving very quickly. There's a couple of cool things you can do with the mixer. What we've kind of established here is that the Alt key is our movement modifier, and the Shift key is our copy function. The Control key opens select options. 
options, but the mixer doesn't really have anything you can select, and it doesn't have anything you can copy. That, that being said, there are still some great shots that we can use. Have you ever found yourself in the position where you've written some really good tracks, but you haven't actually separated them out tracks or individual mixer insert? It's a pain in the butt, unless you know this really great secret. Simply select all of your important um, musical channels. Come down here and I'm just, just going to select insert one, but you can do it on any track. I'm going to select insert one, and you can't see this menu, but the shortcut is control L. If I hit control L, it will map all of my tracks here. And we can see that they, they've all become mapped to Mixer Track 1. Pretty neat, huh? Now, you don't want to have all of your tracks mapped to the same insert. So what might work better for you is to select all of them. And the feature is actually shift Control l If I hit shift Control l or if I select it from the menu by right-clicking on an insert, it will map individually every channel that I had selected to an individual Mixer insert. Now this is fantastic. Not only does it spread them out so that I can run individual effects on each track, but it also labels them and borrows the color from the channels. So it's a great way to separate them out. If you're in a situation where you've you've got something on a given mixer track, for example, I just put this on channel 14, and when I look at it, it only says insert 14. It doesn't tell me what it is, right? I don't know what it is. I know that something's coming out on insert 14, but I don't know what it is. Just remember this select that mixer insert hit alt l and then hit control l alt l will select it in the channels menu whatever is linked to this mixer insert will become selected and control l will remap it to the mixer but it will do so with a name and with a color cool now i can select a mixer insert with the left and right arrows or i can move a mixer insert with the left arrow or I'm sorry, by holding ALT and moving a track around. So without the ALT, I'm simply selecting, and with the ALT, I'm rearranging. Okay, now this is handy. In about 30 seconds, I'm going to show you how to set up a bus. Now a bus is something you would take, even you would take a group of instruments, route them to one particular effects module, and you would do this using a separate mixer insert called a bus. For example, I wanted to have half of my tr tracks, maybe just the high-pitched tracks routed to a filter. If I want to have everything except the drums, I just routed that very easily. Here's what I'm doing. I'm taking one from the very end, the very rightmost end, holding Alt. I'm going to position one. Know that left and right arrows will select individual mix. So very quickly, I'm going to reroute all of my tracks so that instead of mix instead of going to map they're going to go to bus number one off on right arrow off on right arrow off on and that quickly I rerouted my entire mixer so that everything is now pointing to bus one and bus one is pointing to the master so any effect that I run on bus 1 is effectively going to run over my entire mix. Now typically I wouldn't want to have done that for everything. I might leave my bass out of it. So that if I run something like a high pass filter, everything will be cut except my bass and it sounds really cool. Now that's just an example of the shortcut involved. Um, however you want to set this up is up to you, but it's a very quick and easy thing once you know the shortcuts. So um, I've shown you the shortcuts for the channels menu, although I'm only talking about the shift, alt, and control modifiers, so I know I'm being a bit limiting in my um, way of showing these, but I find that the shortcuts I've demonstrated here today are the most useful ones that I've found um, in, my, in my musical research. Being able to move in single notes throughout, or being able to select groups of notes and move them up and down, left and right, all that stuff, is more useful than you can imagine and you will make use of it once you understand this um, or once you know the way it's, it's, it's to be used. Hey, one other great thing, I can select a small region of notes and as long as they're selected I can make changes to the velocity and it will not affect anything else. See that? That's fantastic. Make use of that. Alright, that'll really help you out.